everybody, Stephanie here with another Bibliophiles video, and today um, I'm bringing you my, what I read for the Tome Tumblr Readathon. So like I said in the description, I am going to tell you what I read for the Tome Tumblr Readathon, which I didn't read that many books, I just read literally one, but as far as the page count goes, I read quite a bit of it, so let's just get right into it. So the book that I read for the Tome Tumblr readathon was The Elf Stones of Shannara. I did get into a little bit more into a different book, but we'll get into that later. Um, this one, The Elf Stones of Shannara by Terry Brooks, it was very good. It wound up being a grand total of 564 pages, which I thought was very impressive to me. I did listen to the audible version of it. So I was listening to it on my way to work and on my way home and within a week to finish a book that is this long for me is very good. So I'm very proud of myself in that aspect, although I got burned out at the very end and I didn't want to read anything at all. So yeah. But the next book that I started reading was The Name of the Wind by Patrick Ruthvus. I only got 37 pages into it, and like I said, I just got burnt out, and I was exhausted, I was staying up late, and so I just started reading very slow. So I got 37 pages into it. So far, what I think of this book, I really like it. I like the writing style, I like how he's descriptive, but he's not drawn out. I really like that part. So, that is... I don't know whether I'll finish this one now or just, you know, wait till next year to finish it because I want something to read, but we'll get into that a little later. So my thoughts on the Elfstones of Shannara, 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 however you want to say it, um, is as followed. I have a, quite a few pros and cons. My pros, I really like the characters. The character descriptions this character development was amazing the description of the world was very good but not drawn out to the point i understood what he was trying to say without making it this long and horrible and five pages of describing one thing so i was very happy with that um my other pros was the storyline was very good i enjoyed it i actually liked the ending which i was shocked that i liked the ending but I did like it. Um, the writing style was very good. I very much enjoyed it. And like I said, I listened to the Audible version of this. And the guy that was reading it was doing an amazing job too. So I was hearing his voice when I was reading it as well. So it kind of was helping me push me farther. But my cons are as followed. The druid, Alanon, irritate the crap out of me. I hated when characters were like, I know everything, but you're not allowed to know anything. It, it just irritates me. It's like, you know what, maybe if you tell them, maybe they'll actually be able to do it differently, but whatever. It, that, that was the only part that really irritated me because but that's my personality. But um, the only other thing that I guess I would say that irritated me was Amberly to me, seemed very not whiny. Not, she was she was a good character overall, but some of the things that she did just really irritated me. The ending to me was not a shocker at all, because once there's a part in the book where Elanon has to go and figure something out, and pretty much when he, they gave enough information, I was like, I know what's going to happen at the end. So I wasn't shocked by the ending, I was expecting it, but nonetheless, it, I'm not going to reread this book anytime soon. But as far as a book overall, it was a very good book. So, um, and it kind of reminds me of uh, Brian D. Anderson's books, uh, the Godling Chronicles series. That's what it reminds me of a lot. So if you're a fan of those, you'll definitely enjoy this one. But, yeah, that's my thoughts so far on that. So, with it, well, with me... So within, at least for me, within a week and a half's time, I read a grand total of 601 pages, which 
I'm very proud of myself for doing that. I, like I said, I got very burnt out by the end of it, and I just, I couldn't do it. That is what I did for the Tom Tumblr Readathon. I didn't vlog any of it because I was in the middle of work, and I was driving, and it was weird weather the whole time, too, so I had to very much pay attention to the road. Um, but, yeah, hopefully I am very excited to participate in next year's, so I hope we, I hope she does it again. Um... And other than that, I'll see you in the next video. So, this is In a Big Way Folk, signing off. Bye!